yeah, one day I want my seat on that bus. And yeah, it's always been in the back of my head a few times doing efforts thinking, yeah, I want to be on that bus one day. It's been the team I've always looked up to. I still remember reading Cycling Weekly when I must have been 10 or 11 looking at the photos of the team being launched and big you know, British team that was starting to come up to the World Tour. I remember being so excited about it. And then, of course, Brad winning the Tour in 2012 was just incredible. I remember then thinking, oh, I'd love to be on that team one day and you know, fast forward nine years and, yeah, just sign my first contract with the team. So, yeah, couldn't be happier. Yeah, I've got one massive memory, actually, from the Velta in 2017. I'm waiting outside of the bus and Chris was in uh, the red jersey then. I remember waiting outside of the bus and seeing him come along and all of the other guys on the team and think, yeah, one day I want my seat on that bus. And yeah, it's always been in the back of my head a few times doing efforts thinking, yeah, I want to be on that bus one day. Well, my dad, he, he uh, raced from when we was a young age, so it was only natural that we started going along to the race on my kick-along bike, I think, at first. And uh, so, yeah, cycling's all I've really ever known, to be honest. Um, yeah, I think I did my first cyclocross race when I was three or four years old. It's really all I can remember growing up. Also, as you get older, you want to take it more seriously. And each year sort of just kept on developing. And yeah, I've loved it. Two times world champion uh, with the junior category in cyclocross. Um, and then, yeah, when I turned to the M23, I made the step up to Alperson and XO, immediately turned pro coming out of the juniors and then stopped uh, with the cyclocross to start to focus more specifically on the road. Building up from there, of course, racing with the pros from a young age, it's sort of climbing the ladder. You don't start at the top. The competition is so high, so every year and each race, I've sort of just been consistently improving and yeah I've just came back from Poland and I've done my first top 10 in the uh, GC. I came 12th in Fleshville on this year and 17th in Amstel what I was happy with and trying to consistently improve. Well we haven't actually raced that much together actually what's strange he's two years older than me so when you know was in like the development categories he was always like a category or two above me but yeah I've known Tom for years spent quite a lot of time with him so we both know each other pretty well Ethan I know him really well because yeah he grew up not so far away from me so yeah I know him pretty well and of course Teo I've known him for a number of years now so I'd say Tom Teo and Ethan are the, the guys that I know by far the best I've had a couple of chats with Luke Rowe just briefly in the races so he seems like a really cool guy so yeah looking forward to meeting the whole team and you know getting to know everyone properly yeah I mean that's that's my dream to be a GC rider of course to win the tour it's my big it's my big long-term ambition um yeah to be a GC rider it's what I've always wanted to be and I want to continue to develop into what to be a GC rider and yeah I think any else can give me the tools to be able to continue to improve in the best environment I think, uh, yeah, it'll be really important to settle into the team well, get to know all of the, the team really well, the riders and the staff, and really get, you know, invest into what Ineos is all about. I really want to continue developing on the bike and progress on the results I've already had.